The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Abbas Tajdin, has identified climate change as a main contributing factor in the worsening farming adder clashes in the country. The Speaker made the session in Abuja at the Stakeholders Forum to address the impact of climate change on the lives of Nigerians as well as how it has affected the social, economic, and political well being of Nigerians. The event was organized by the Office of the Deputy Chairman, House Committee on Environment, with the sole aim of understanding the causes, effects, and impact of climate change and ways to address it. The speaker was represented by Honorable Dixon Atage, representing uh, Mako de Guma Federal Constituency of Benway State, for the preferred some solutions, which include, but not limited to, the amendment of the current uh, Land Use Act and the need to adopt modern farming methods as against outdated urban and farming use today. Climate change has worsened the farmer header challenges. Farmers and headers alike now compete for less resources from which they draw crops and fodder. Distortions in rainfall patterns being the result of climate change have led to desertification, have led to desertification. In search of greener pastures, headers have continued to migrate to farming communities. Given the trend, without regulation, there is bound to be clashes and crises indeed. We are already there. The Deputy Chairman of the House Committee on Environment, Honorable Zatessa Ugo, called for collective uh, collaborative effort to also address the main challenges caused by climate change. Now, in proffering solutions to the climate crisis, we have designed this initiative to address the problem of affordable green housing for displaced persons, restoration of degraded farm and grazing lands, training and capacity building, resource and water management, renewable energy integration, and peace, and peace building through dialogue and mediation. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I therefore invite you to collaborate, partner, support, and donate to this climate mitigation and adaptation initiative for the present and future stability of Nigeria and the peaceful coexistence of our people. In his keynote address, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, now Senator George Akume, who was represented by the Senior Special Assistant Technical Professor Bolaji Babatunde, observed that the world has awakened to the rude reality of the grave impact of climate change on humanity and caused by human activities themselves for the past 100 years. Climate change is the major factor undermining the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, and direct threat to world leaders' efforts at reducing extreme poverty. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Metinubu, is one of such world leaders who has expressed very strong desire to reducing extreme poverty among the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria with a promise of renewed hope agenda aimed at pulling millions of Nigerians out of extreme poverty in the years ahead. Great efforts have been made by his administration towards this mandate since he took over power barely 17 months ago. The president has himself recognized that climate change is a hurdle obstructing his efforts to lift many out of extreme poverty. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.